Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a repost from Glinda Lomax. The title is, You Cannot Love the World and Love Me. I will give you revelation as you study my holy word. I desire that you would come into the knowledge of all truth about me, and that it will comfort you in your time of need. My word is your assurance. I will meet those needs if you have obeyed my commands. My word abounds with revelation, with truth, with the steps you should take in order to come out of any negative situation you are faced with. But so many rely only on the revelations of others. They do not pursue truth for themselves. Therefore, they possess no real revelation of their own. Because of this, they can be easily swayed by winds of strange doctrines containing only partial truths. O my people, why do you neglect so great a salvation as that which is found in my holy word? Why do you gladly give your minds to idle pastimes and neglect the great treasures of eternal value hidden in my word? I have hidden tools there for you to find, tools to fix the problems you face each day. I have placed comfort in its lines to surround you with my comfort whenever you need me. You draw near to me whenever you read my holy word. I speak to you in its pages. I pull you close to me in its verses. I long for you to draw nearer to me Yet so many of you are chasing what the world has to offer, and soon that world will be no more. That world will change forever, but I change not. Time spent in my holy word is never wasted, never lost. It is multiplied back to you in blessings in your life. My word teaches you how you should live but so many of you want to live like the world instead. You do not look into my word, for it convicts you of your sin. Instead, you look into the world, and it agrees with your sin and leaves you feeling comfortable with it. I do not call you to live lives of comfort, but of sacrifice and love, lives of giving, of helping each other. Yet so many of you have turned inward with your love and love yourselves instead. My word would teach you, but you harden your hearts against it. My word would guide you into all truth and holiness, yet you will have none of it. The time is coming soon when those who have spent time in my word will stand above the others who have played the harlot with the world and its ways. The difference will be clear in the way I protect them from all that is coming soon. I have called you to come out of the world. If you ignore my voice, if you ignore my word, you cannot endure to the end. You cannot love the world and love me. You cannot serve the ways of the world and serve me. You must choose. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.